Yeah. Sorry, Alps kind of a yeah. weird, weird situation for you, getting excited to, to join, but not knowing when this thing is going to start? Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Um, like you said, I, I don't know when everything is going to get going. Um, don't know what to expect in a training camp regardless. So either way, everything's new to me, but I'm looking forward to it. I assume you're prepared to go to the Providence camp. Yeah. yeah, you know, I'm prepared for whatever they need me to do. Um, if I go to Providence, I'll go down there, work as hard as I can, and uh, you know, keep keep trying to get better. Would you have attended this upcoming uh, rookie camp that they had uh, canceled? Yeah, I would have been there for sure. Is it, is it training-wise? I mean, I've talked to some guys in the same spot as you. It's like you know, you've got to gear yourself to be on a certain day, but then everything sort of gets pushed back a week if there's cancer. Has it, has it been hard for you to made any adjustments or anything? Or? Yeah, I think as the summer grows, um, you know, you, it becomes a mental challenge. Uh, you really have to stay focused. you got to keep training. Um, you know, some guys get bored, and then you kind of lose a lack of focus, and you're not training as hard as you can. So you got to really stay mentally dialed in. How much benefit can you derive from last year and uh, visit? I, I think the, the most benefit I can get from last year would be um, just feeling comfortable in the locker room. I can walk in the locker room. I, I know all the guys. I can say hi. How you doing? How's the summer going? Um, I feel comfortable with the coaching staff, the training staff, and um, you know that's the best part about it for me. What's, what's your emotions like based on the fact that this has been your first NHL camp and now you know, it might not have to be delayed, it might not happen at all? I mean, well, you know the anticipation for me was very high. Uh, like I said, I didn't know what to expect coming into training camp. I've never been to one before, um, so I was very very excited, uh, especially to get into this city where. You know, sports are everything, and winning championships is everything. So I was very excited to get into here, and you know, now that uh, you never know when training camps gonna get going, uh, it's a little disappointing. But like I said, you just gotta stay mentally dialed in. You gotta keep going. It's gotta be not necessarily the recovery week, but I mean, you do know you're going to have a someone soon. It's gonna be like whatever silver lining or something. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it's definitely different for me because I can go down to Providence and play. I can continue to develop. Um, you know, some guys, they can't play hockey. Um, but, you know, I'm lucky in that regard to keep developing, keep getting better. And, um, you know, once the season does start, I'll, I'll be a little bit sharper than some guys. And we against grizzled old men, angry old men. And this is a good, I mean, that's a important step for you to take and get someone on one real experience that way. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the challenge of playing against older, stronger, bigger guys. So, um, you know, for me, it's just a learning experience. As I play more games, I'll feel more comfortable how to defend those bigger guys, stronger guys. So, um, you know, like like you said, it, it's exciting challenge for me, and I'm excited to get going. Um, there's um, uh, in the Stanley Cup playoffs, some undersized offensive defense, and the guys who play aggressively. Did you take notes, watch, you watch a lot of games, and see what works, what doesn't work, and say this will this will help me in the end, this won't, you know? Yeah, I definitely watch a lot of games in the Stanley Cup playoffs. I mean, um, you know, that's a stage that I want to be on some, sometime soon, hopefully next year, uh, playing with the Bruins and playing the Stanley Cup Finals. So I watch a lot of guys. You know, one guy that comes to mind definitely is Andy Green. Uh, with New Jersey, they made a deep run, and I kind of idolized him my whole life. Uh, he played in the CCHA, and I watched him grow and develop as a player. And um, another guy that I want to model my game after is Eric Carlson in Ottawa. So um, there's a lot of guys I can watch in the Stanley Cup playoffs. I took a lot of, a lot of notes of